Hello my fellow YouTubers and welcome to part number one in my new series which is called Sony Vegas Pro 11 Tutorial for Beginners. In this episode I will especially or I will only focus on the pan and crop effect which allows you to for example zoom in and out on objects and also to make the sh screen shake which is the two points I will be focusing on in this episode. So this is also gonna be the video I put into the the part number one video in Sony Vegas Pro 11 so this is the video I'm going to edit in. So go zoom in on Amnesia the Dark Descent icon on top right of the screen. Well done. Now zoom out so you get the full screen again. Well done. To celebrate this fantastic little example now make the screen shake and get some party music on yeah baby okay so this clip is a bit weird without the effects that I mentioned in the uh, in the intro of this in this actually in this clip uh, so what we want to do is to add these effects in this tutorial and that's pretty much what I'm going to do during this uh, series unless you have any other ideas to what I could do to make it better so let's start off with the first effect uh, no, before we start with that, I want to show, uh, tell you about the basics of Sony Vegas. So, you actually you have uh, this here, which is the place where you your clip or your video is going to be made. So this is where you have all your effects, all your video, all your audio uh, together, um, and this is the output actually. So when you go render the video, which I will be showing you in another tutorial how you render it. Um, when you go render it, uh, what the fuck should I tell you? When you go render it, this is what's going to come out of it. Uh, and out here, you have the different tracks. Um, so you're actually able to add more tracks by right clicking in this area, in your output area, and uh, insert, for example, an audio track, or you can insert a video track. Uh, you can't, you can't import video clips in an audio track that's pretty obvious and the same with uh, audio tracks you can't import that in a video track and you're able to make text box and all that kind of stuff by right clicking on the video track you can make text boxes and duplicate the track that's pretty obvious uh, you have to try it try it out uh, and uh, n now I want to talk about this uh, this area where the output area which I will be uh, referring it to uh, in the upcoming episodes too. So let's start off with the first effect which is right after where I say this. So I have to zoom in on the Amnesia to Dr. Send icon in the top right of the screen. That's what I said. Um, so the way you do that is first of all to split up the clip and the way you do that is to go to the point where you want it to start and pressing S and the point where you want it to end and pressing S. So now you have this clip in the middle, and you can zoom in and out on this area by scrolling on the mouse. Uh, what is it called? You know what I mean when I say scrolling on the mouse, right? And then you have to uh, scroll it away from you if you want it to zoom in, and scroll it towards you if you want it to zoom out. So, what you want to do is actually let's uh, remove this because we don't need we 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 should have it to end. Actually, we have to, to end here. Yeah, that's what that was right. What I was what I was doing. So, what you want to do is to go and click on the event pan and crop, and now I get this screen uh, appearing. So it looks pretty difficult to handle, but really it isn't because all these numbers makes it so hard, fucking hard, to um, to like. Wow, this is such something I can't do. Don't give up, man. It's not that complicated. So, you have this screen, and what you want to do is to go and zoom in here. Down, 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 down. And well, you just do that by uh, by taking one of the the corners and dragging it into the middle with the left mouse button. And uh, well, we don't really want this blue screen, don't do we? <laughs> Um, so um, 
well, you have to move it around by uh, when you get this icon on your mouse you have to move it towards the place where you want it to be and in this uh, in this example it's gonna be at the amnesia the dark descent so that's what we can do and now we have amnesia the dark descent focus awesome uh, let me just zoom it a bit out because I want right there right that looks fantastic um, so yeah this is now the more complicated part. You have to. Uh, this is the timeline of the little clip you made with frames. So, you, this is the keyframe I just made, which is it zoomed in on this amnesia dark descent icon. And I want. What I want to do is to go and put that in the end of this clip, because this is uh, what's got the clip gonna end with. Because I want it to get a smooth uh, entering in the picture. So. Um, in the beginning, I want to add another keyframe, and also up here, like that. And what you want to do is to go right-click this F uh, area um, and press Restore. Bam! And now we get this smooth smoom, zoom in. You see? That's epic. Um, so that's pretty much how you zoom in. but. The next part is where I want to. Um, I really wanted to, you know, to stay there until I say uh, that I want to zoom out to get the full screen again. And the way you do that is to go and do this. Oh wait, what did I just do? Did I just fuck something up? Yeah, I did. Well, don't even worry about it. I'll just fix it again. Not that hard. Let me just check that everything is okay. God fucking damn it. Stop messing around. <laughs> God fucking damn it, would you please? Good. Everything's good. Don't even worry about it. There. That's where we want it to, uh, to be. So what we want to do is to go and make this make the same effect and you can actually do this by let me see what am I going to do um, yeah uh, let me see to zoom in again make it in the same position as the other one and you're able to do that by copy pasting uh, the co coordinates out here and uh, put them into the other but I will just make it like it's probably the same, you know. <laughs> and uh, you're able to copy these, and I will put that in the end too, so it won't move. Uh, yeah, that's it. So let us see how does it, how does this work? And now we wanted to make look. That was actually fantastic because. You know, I made a little uh, odds that I a bet that it would uh, end up the same position as the other clip, but it did, so everything's good. So what we're gonna do next is to make it zoom out again, and yeah, you might know how to do it now because you know I showed you. <laughs> um, so what we wanna do is to go and split the screen up again where we want it to end, or the clip, sorry, and go to the pan and crop effect again. So ho I'm sorry. <laughs> uh look, we can actually I think we can just copy this actually. And well that's that's something I should have told you, I guess. Copy. No, god damn it. <laughs> well this is going fantastic. I should copy the last one or it's it doesn't matter because it's the same. Um uh, and then I should control V. You're not able to do that? Paste. Yes! See? And now in the start of this. What the hell? Oh, it's because. Oh my god. Guys, it's because I have to use this pen and crop effect because it's the entire. No, what? No, it's it's actually good. I was just at the, at the, se at the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> okay, so now. This is what we have. Now, 
Yeah, good job, man. <laughs> okay, we have it. We have to get it to zoom out again, and w that's pretty simple. We just have to go to the end of this clip and make sure it's on this one, and then we have to go add a keyframe, like that, and then go and restore it, and that should be it. Look. Okay, let's do that. 